Mother Agon stands in the mouth of the valley, two kilometers away from the witchlets she targeted. They cannot see her small figure in the distance. Rigon extends her staff into a wand. The bit of charcoal held in place at its tip begins smoking before a single flame ignites around its black, lumpy shape. Fire is a fitting end for witches, Mother Agon mutters to herself as she swings her staff horizontally in front of her and whips a blaze of fire across the Crescent Valley's entrance. The flames latch onto the ground, and a long strip of fire starts burning up the tall grass and bushes. Next, Rigon swings her staff back and forth while emitting whispered incantations under her breath. A low, whooshing drone comes out of her staff's end as waves of wind blow against the back of the wildfire she'd set. The powerful gusts send the flames racing across the bottom of the valley. They leave dim embers in a growing field of burned-out black ground behind them. The beings of southern Kolkata see the wildfire smoke from many miles away. It covers, dampens, and darkens the sky. They see smoke billow up and bloom out of the Crescent Valley. The other witches in the nearby Iwa's mansion leave their morning routines to investigate the blaze. Sisters and elder mothers mount their staves and glide down the slope on the side of the plateau where their residence stands. Thank you so much. That uh, is a short story called The Transmutation of Embers. It was published recently in an online publication called Ophelian, the web design of science fiction and fantasy.